Okay, so I'm tagging Jamie in this, and Jamie, you, if are you are, and I will say possibly the most, has the most experience with an e-collar. I mean, I haven't looked at your catalog lately, but, you know, if you said I've got hundreds and way more good dogs than you, I don't think you do, but, you know, if you guys are trying to march and you guys are trying to hang on to the premise that this constant doesn't hurt to the point you've got Adam Spivey out there with some mindless woman laughing while he hits the constant. If you said, well, that's proof to the government right there. The government is saying to themselves, are these people that stupid? Anybody on the planet, man, well, if you put that on a child and hit the constant, you will go to jail. And don't tell me you wouldn't. Put a video of yourself hitting a child with constant, not an adult, not a mindless laughing woman. Ah, oh, Jenny, yes, this is Adam Spivey and his mindless laughing woman. <laughs> it feels funny. Well, this, there's no dog training feeling where we're laughing and feeling funny. If you said, well, the dogs that he has are happy, 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 happy dogs. They're confused. They never look at this guy. He's too busy walking around in these loosey goosey sweatpants. I mean, it's disturbing. It's just disturbing. I can't even watch. I can't even watch past the mindless woman laughing with the collar on her neck. And then says, don't use the pager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I posted in the group, Jenny, go look. The mindless laughing. <laughs> so if you said they have the support of the original developers of low level stimulus, no, they don't. They don't even know who they are, Jamie. And I'm sure, I don't know whether you've read Tritonic's Retriever Training, but you know, people need to understand that book was written 20 years ago, and it was 20 years ahead of its time. And if you said based on what the work they were doing back then is way more advanced than what these people are doing. Yeah. If you said, well, these people got their information from another source. Mm, there isn't any other source. Tritronics Retriever Training was the largest selling retriever book of all time. It was... The only information there was about e-collars. It maybe came out, I can go look, in the early 90s, and it, if you said it was technically, oh yes, it's, I mean, I couldn't do the work in there, it's so technical, I couldn't do it, it's just too technical. If you said, what would you do, I'd read it and say, oh my God, it's too technical, I can't do this. I better stick to the basics, <laughs> I better stick to the basics. You know, but I mean, the basics are all dog training is only three basic behaviors. You're gonna call or condition a dog for three behaviors and then that's a balanced dog you know and if you said well in 1997 when they came out with the pager and said what has happened is it's gotten so low that we've had to say to ourselves it's counterproductive it's too low low is not good they came out with a blue contact point that was one half and if you said why because one was too hot for some dogs I swear to god if you said but then one half they couldn't even feel and the level of inconsistency with feel and not feel versus heightened reality and not heightened reality. Oh, absolutely. And they weren't as much about training and drive. They were always training dogs with drive. Oh, hi, Sharon. Yeah, I hope you saw that video with this Adam Spivey, mindless woman laughing and, and saying the British government doesn't have proof it hurts. There's all kinds of proof it hurts. It's all over YouTube. People putting it on other people's necks, laughing, and these people fall on the ground. And if you said no, get some balls, Adam Spivey. Go put it on a child. Yeah. I'll make sure that motherfucker's in jail. You shouldn't be putting it on a dog. He's, he's no connection with these dogs. The guy's a go-to-the-house trainer. If you said that's the bottom of the feeding chain, not really. The bottom of the feeding chain is someone that gives group classes. <laughs> The next step of the feeding chain, Lois, is someone that goes to the house once a week. If you said, then what? Oh, I don't know, maybe the two-week trainer. If you said, what's the, the top level? People that can get a lot of dogs signed on a one-year contract. <laughs> no. If you said, these people, the guy's personal dog is a total disaster. Jamie, you cannot say, I've looked at your work, because you've been aware of this work for a long time. And if you said, well, I looked at the stuff you just uploaded, and... I see what you're doing with a chameleon without any juice, and I just don't see anything there. Adam Spivey has got toxins. I mean, that makes that Doberman look like dog training 101. 
They're so advanced with his use of constant. Oh, okay. And his puppy work and everybody's puppy work with the constant. Nobody's got puppy work with the constant. When the pager first came out, I said, let me try this on puppies. I'll just go show you the very first videos. It was right on my sidewalk out there. And I said, let's see if we can get it to go back and forth with it. That's where it all started. If you said when they came out with a small collar, yes. So if you said back 20 years ago when this all came out, this Adam Spivey and them said, no, let those people branch out with the pager and we're going to continue on with the continue on with the constant. They were in third fucking grade. They were in third grade. So it is them that is wrong. It, you know, to, to flat out state the British government is lying, that it hurts. No, they're not. And any person can figure it out by putting it on themselves. That's all the proof I need. <laughs> Not the big work of some sloppy schlump <sighs> that wears these sweatpants. I mean, what, what is this guy shop at a sweatpants surplus store? I mean, say that, but at least these European guys look like trainers. They're dressed like trainers. Look at this dog trainer outfit. I'm just worried about this. If this, if this, if this is who you're using, Jamie, as an example, and if you said, I have actually told these people, and Danny Wells, I want you to know, I, I think maybe you need to say to Danny Wells, Jamie, let's not be too harsh about her work. There may be a little basis of something here. I know you've completely dissed it as useless and non-scientific, but I mean, I know her recalls aren't quite as good as yours and our trained retrieves and everything. You know, but let's not be too hard. Come on, Jamie. And if you said, well, the idea of a phone pager on a dog who's your best friend, your companion, is ridiculous. I've seen what you've done with deaf dogs and your theory that all sound is vibration and they're feeling it. I don't see any proof of that. <laughs> I don't see any proof of that. I've got one deaf dog video from years ago where the dog is upstairs. I hit the pager and it comes down. So I right there just, I don't know. I really thought there was hope for you, Jamie. Not to sit there and... You need to rein Danny Wells in is what you need to do, Jamie. You need to say, there may be something to what she's doing. If what she's able to do is take Bart Malone's collar and upload more footage than any other human being on the planet, the dog's doing lots and lots of things real fast, but there's not even any juice. There's no way it hurts. I can hear the beeping, so I can kind of figure out what she's doing. <sighs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> and if you said no, we're using low-level tingle. <laughs> Tingly. Let me explain to you Danny's video, Jamie. And I tried to be nice to him, I did. If he said, how did I meet him? I told a girl not to make a dog sit, stay, and recall by lifting up her leg and giving it a treat under her leg. I said, it's, it's not going to do a fast recall if you keep doing that. If you said then what Danny Wells came out of the woodwork and said, you don't know what you're talking about. And this recall is spectacular. And show me what you're talking about, lady. At which point I posted, you know, 40, 50 of my recalls. And he didn't see anything there. He saw this Haley's sit, stay, walk five feet away, lift your leg up, and give it a treat under your leg is the pinnacle of recalls that we should all follow. And I tried to be nice to him, Jamie. I really did. But, you know, his video of, it's a tingly feeling. It's not a tingly feeling. It's a phone pager put on a dog's collar. It is that simple. If you cannot explain it simply enough, you don't understand it. If you said that's how I explain it to people, yeah. If you've got to go on and on, stating it doesn't hurt. To the point you've got to put it on the people's neck while they laugh like a mindless idiot. That isn't good. That's not serious pro training. If you said, I'll call Mike Lardy right now, lady. I put together a little of your work. 
together a little montage of your last 10 videos and I'm sending it to Mike Lardy. I'm going to ask him just to get an opinion. Jackie Mertens. Send it to Jackie. She said who else. Pick any pose you want and then publicly post their response. Also do a montage of your guy. And I mean your guys, your, your personal, your guys' personal dogs. Montage. You know, we can do Danny Wells, that dog came. You know, that other one that overheated. And Adam Spivey and Super Sammy, the, the bulldog that's... God, I think anybody's seeing that. We said, this is what we're able to get with a new collar. Let's do it. It's just ridiculous, Jamie, for you to know that this work exists, but to say it's not valid and allow these people to say that. If you're gonna, you're either gonna go, if you wanna go ahead and go along with Danny Wells, then, well. <sighs> He's like, what? I mean, just prepare for me to point out what you're doing wrong, Jamie, and what you're doing slow and What you're not, getting one or two dogs to do things is one thing. Being able to get dog after dog after dog, you're starting to get into a technique here. And if you said then what, well, pretty soon you got yourself a methodology. And if you said then what, something that anybody can apply? Pretty much. What about this blind deaf dog? I mean, how do you explain that one, Jamie? If you said it's had the nick, it's never had the nick. It's never had the constant. You put a constant on a blind deaf dog, that's pretty damn sick and try to communicate. There's no other communication on the planet that's communicating with a non-audible electric stimulation. And if you said, what does audibility have to do with it in an animal with that sensitive of ears? It has everything to do with it. All sound is vibration. They can feel the sound. And that's, that's what I'm gonna plan to do now. I'm gonna do a little slice and dice video. Kelly's recall, their recall. Kelly's trained to retrieve, their trained to retrieve. Kelly's puppy training, their puppy training. Kelly's blind deaf dogs, and deaf dogs, and their deaf dogs, and blind deaf dogs. So that, you know, you people need to stop de-intellectualizing the British public. If you think you're gonna stand on a street corner, if you said you're not gonna, you wouldn't dare go out in public. Lorenzo, this mindless idiot. It was probably you, girl. No, it might be me. Anyway, go look at Lorenzo in the group. This mindless idiot. I just posted a thing about mindlessness. He's got the e-collar on a client. If he said do a reenactment. <laughs> She's just a mindless woman laughing. It was... You know what it was, Lorenzo? It was disturbing. Disturbing. Well, this mindless woman laughs. If he said, but then they go outside and the dog is super, super engaged. The fact that this guy doesn't notice. Oh, go look. It's absolutely awful. If he said, so I should never dress like this guy. No. He wears these sweatpants. I mean, it's disturbing. <laughs> That's not the right clothing <laughs> at all. He said, stop picking on the guy's clothing. I can't help it, it's so disturbing. But in the training itself is, if you said, well, they've seen you in a no long line, and they like a long line, even in a small room. It's disturbing. It is disturbing. So Jamie, you maybe need to get your little group together and sit down and say, listen, let's at least watch 20 minutes. I started her first video and watch 20 minutes of this bullshit and see if there's possibly anything with this innocuous idea of putting a phone pager on your best friend's collar. No, it doesn't seem. Put everything else on their collar. Put a tag that says I'm lost, put a GPS, so when it runs away from you, you can find it, but don't put a way to communicate with it at a distance that doesn't suffer contamination.
because based on her work and the level of animation these dogs are showing, you know, yeah, it's not for us. Come on, Jamie, stop it. You know, this Adam Spivey has stated the reason I say his dog is stingy is I'm in love with him. Wouldn't he just go after my work and saying adding a phone pager as a trigger point in a moving dog that's far away from the handlers? Stupidest thing I've ever heard. And based on what I'm seeing, when you're hitting this pager and they're coming back, it doesn't work. So stop, lady. And the fact that it only takes me one session to train a dog. And, you know, if you said, what am I doing? I have an eight week minimum. If you said, what's better than, um, I mean, I, eight to 12 weeks is what really, I tell people for the basic, if this thing is a fucking hot mess the way they're describing it, and they've had it all this time, they've screwed this thing up. It has to be unscrewed and screwed back on the right way. <laughs> Not remember that one, Lorenzo. Yes, you've screwed the lid on this dog wrong. We need to unscrew it and screw it back on the right way. <laughs> you, uh, you know, so if the idea of putting a phone pager on your pet's collar, if that just came out on TV right now, nobody had ever heard of anything, and I just suddenly came out on TV with these videos, it's not like people aren't going to be going, as big as much bullshit I've ever seen. My dog comes way faster than that. Poor girl Julie that was a vet was like, she didn't know how I was doing it. She couldn't understand it. He said, why? All she hears is tales of dogs taking off. <laughs> These dogs again be controlled off the leash. She said, I've not proven anything any off the leash. These people's off the leash work is putting you to shame. And it's embarrassing that you would even call me out. So I'm calling you out, Jamie. I mean, I don't think of you as my enemy, but you've got to lead these people in a different direction. You need to tell Danny Wells, listen, you may have been wrong about her. And she did try to be nice to you. She does get over stuff, so, you know, that, to, to say there's no validity in remote communication, if you said the only valid communication for dogs is constant stimulation at a very, very low level that will have to be adjusted in the correct micro increments once heightened reality hits because I'm worried that they'll ignore the pager. My response to people that say that is, I used to get ignored a lot. Like, I mean, you hear all these texting people, they never respond. And so you blame the device? Oh, my phone. Oh, no, that's what the people tell them. Oh, my phone wasn't working. I didn't get your message. <laughs> Please. The pager, the very... It's allowing you to see overt refusals. If you said, I'm getting refusals on a long line, and they have dogs acting in free agency, ladies, so don't you worry about any refusal. They don't even move. That's ridiculous. It is. It is. If you said you could go online, go get Cheyenne right now, and have her hold on to that pager and have her run all around out in the field hitting the pager and doing stuff saying, okay, run over there, as soon as I hit the pager, run over there, that the police are going to come and put you in jail. If you said you went out there hitting the kid with constant and the kid cried out, said, then you'd have DCF on your ass real fucking fast. If you said, prove it, no, some guy did it. Some guy did it to his kids a long time ago. Yeah, put it on their neck or something. She said, whatever, they took him away. Yeah, yeah. It's scary if you said he was trying to apply some... That's the only methodology out there. There's only two methodologies, really concrete methodologies out there for training dogs with e-collars. If we said, what are they? Mike Lardy's and Jim and Phyllis's. And if you said, well, what's the difference? Jim and Phyllis mostly use the Nick a lot. They helped develop the Nick. Yeah, Mike Lardy didn't use the Nick though, but he called Constant Burn. I think he called the Nick Momentary and he called Constant Burn. That's what he called it. If you say, how could you get away with burning? And then these things were high, high drive. So if you said he had the Labrador equivalent of a Malinois, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And you couldn't get a Malinois to do what these things did. So, same thing. People can get away with a hot collar on a Malinois. If you say, oh, they're very forgiving. Who cares? Who cares? There's the tie. 
Oh, it's all forgotten. So we're about soft temperament dogs and we can't forget about it. They just keep worrying and worrying, getting sadder and sadder <laughs> until they don't. <laughs> Who can blame them? Who can blame them? It does hurt. You're the ones that are lying, Jamie, putting it on your neck. All these people have to do is put it on their neck. If you said, what would I say? You've lost all integrity. Type that it's buttons by accident all the time. So just show me what would happen one time if this dial accidentally got turned all the way up. Let's do a video of that. You know, just in my pocket or something. Or it does happen. The dial got turned all the way up and I accidentally hit it. Let's do a video of that. And then when I'm laughing, and then when I say, get out of my house, mofo, with your baggy sweatpants and don't ever go back. I'll prove to you that I'm not a mindless idiot. You know, if there's anybody on the earth, if you said Americans are tasked with e and methodologies, yes, if you said Danny Wells and Jamie Penrith, and they've all written books much more sophisticated than Jim and Phyllis from back in the day detailing e collar methodologies. What did I see? I don't see anything written down. If you said you don't have anything written down, I know, but I have logs of dogs from the very first day. The very first day we work on the collar. And every single other day until they're 10 years old. <laughs> I swear to God, there's 10 year old dogs out there. I got 10 year old dogs. So that's what you have to say to yourself if we're going to de intellectualize the British public to the point that the collar has now been banned, but we're going to stay on this thread that don't ban it because it doesn't hurt and it saves lives. And here's Danny Wells' tingly video. And Adam Spivey jumping around like some buffoon. He doesn't even look like a dog trainer. I mean, Jamie, at least get this guy in some khaki pants and a fucking, at least a shirt that says dog trainer. So somebody might mistake this guy for a dog trainer. <laughs> He's based on his sloppy body language. It's not going to happen. Dressed in the, with the sloppy sweat. This guy doesn't look like a trainer. I'm begging you, Jamie. I'm begging Lead your people in a different direction. That's true. That's true, Jamie. Look at him. And then the guy has the unmitigated gall, Jenny, to say, I'm not a good trainer. I'm jealous and in love with him. Yeah, that's my dream. To move to the UK and be Adam's girlfriend. And go to people's house once a week and put e-collars on their neck while they mindlessly laugh. What kind of drugs am I going to need to be on for this shit, Adam? Shh. What kind of medication am I going to have to get on to fucking even look at this guy for two seconds? I mean, maybe I could do a little makeover on him. I mean, you know, I may last half a day. If I could get him into a store, get some jeans on, you know, a button-up shirt with, you know, at least look like a Brit. He said, what does a Brit look like in your mind? Oh, they've got that V-neck sweater with the stripes. And they've got that. And the little, yeah, they got the little tam. Yeah, uh-huh. Khakis. Yeah. Oh, sort of like a British tennis outfit, I suppose. <laughs> the vest this is dog trainer. Anything. Anything but out there looking like a buffoon. A dog that never looks at you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slice and dice, and I'm going to get these people... I mean, it's, it's been done to death, Jenny. If you look up on YouTube, once you start looking up these people with the e-collar on their neck, then you see all the fucking laymen that put it on their girlfriend and their friend, and they get the drunk friend to put it on their neck. If you said then what? Oh, there's one guy. Oh, I'll go find it. And I'll tell you, boy, he would look like a badass. He, he was a badass mofo. I, I, I'll put it up there. Oh, hi, Carol. I'll put this guy's video up there. Well, he was all tatted up and buff, and he wasn't a big guy, but he was one of those guys, maybe five foot nine, that decided, you know, here's an idea. I'll be fucking huge <laughs> for my size. I'm gonna get a lot of tats, and that will help me in life because I'm not six foot tall. Absolutely. And so if you said, what happens? They put the fucking collar on his neck. If you said, yeah, yeah, I'll show you. If you said, I'm a lot tougher than that guy. If you said, what did I say? God, I said, I'm not anywhere near as tough as this guy. <laughs> And these people try to say it. I, in fact, I need to call out Ed Frawley. If you said, well, he has misinformation on his thing, stating there's levels of an e-collar so low, no human can feel them, only a dog can. No, no, Ed, that's sounds, sounds that are so low that a dog can hear them that we can't hear them. 
Dogs are much tougher than us. If you said, give me examples, these people can't drop kick these things or break fucking two by fours over their head to get them to stop attacking something. So they're not saying, oh my God, it's so low, but I still feel it. They don't feel anything. They've got completely different nerves. Yeah, it's, it's painful, it's painful to me. The slice and dice. Their recall, Kelly's recall. Noticing at the end it's gonna be, here's the synopsis. All of their work is very slow and they're all holding long lines even in a 10 foot room. They're not training in drive. And if you said, why is that so important? Because as soon as heightened reality hits, that's what happens. So if you said you have only trained at slow speed, if you said, well, that's what NASCAR drivers do. They don't practice going fast. They just drive the speed limit. Please, I'm gonna go post that one video from Halloween, from Angie Marie, where we were getting the dogs on the golf cart. Remember when Angie Marie made those homemade costumes? She, would, she didn't wanna get the, she saw this on a greeting card. We were gonna make these costumes and so they didn't turn out now. And so then we just ended up not going trick-or-treating, putting the dogs back in the house and going to this country club where Mike was already there. And if you said, when, oh, eating and drinking, having a good time. If you said then when it was time to leave, then we, we had both had different gar golf carts. Me and Angie were on one golf cart and Mike was on the other one. If you said then what? She said, oh, here we go. It's always a race. I said, even on the golf cart, yeah. So we had to race Mike on the golf carts back to their house. <laughs> If you said, did you guys win? No, no. Angie had the pedal to the metal, but Mike was, uh, anyway. You know, you're, 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 you're de-intellectualizing people to try to tell them a lie like that. It's true. If someone told me it did not hurt, and I looked at them, and I believed them, and I thought they were sincere, and man, they fucking hit it really high, and it fucking hurt. I, you know, no. I would be done with that person if you said for how forever. They, all their integrity would have been lost. You said that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. They're not going to put it on their neck and feel it hurts. And they probably put it in their hand and feel it hurts. I've had a few people. Oh, I want to feel it. Whatever. So I'm going to let them hold on to it. I might have videos of it. Whatever. If you really want to. So if you just keep turning it up, so they can't feel it again, they turn it right up. You know. If they really want to. If you said that's not our job, no, our job is to communicate with these animals better. And if putting a phone pager on the collar helps us communicate better, that's what we need to do, Jamie. Not say back in 1997, Jim and Phyllis Dobbs were wrong. It was not an exciting breakthrough. And based on your work, it's the biggest bunch of bullshit training out there. And I'll go get a written statement from Godfrey Dildai, the world's most anti-e-collar motivational training, saying you suck. No, you won't. I'm going to go tell Godfrey right now, listen, we need you to write me a review. If you said, where is he? He's still in the rehab place. He's waiting for me to come visit him. If you said, what did I say? I will by video. <laughs> I can't leave with all these dogs. I want to figure out a way, but you know, you have to say that to yourself. So this Godfrey's wrong too. Motivational e-collar work is a fucking joke. This pager hurts way more than what we're doing. And the work that we're doing is better for the British pub. Like then saying, do you people put a phone pager on your best friend's collar? Just like everybody else in your life, you have a way to clearly and quickly communicate with them thanks to technology. That has no validity with your best friend, your fur friend, though. Putting clothes and shoes and glasses and all them does, but I phone page. They're, they're too stupid. You've de-intellectualized de dogs to the point that they're not going to be able to understand a phone pager as a cue attached to their collar. And based on my work, what I'm going to need you to do, Jamie, is... I mean, possibly if you can see if you can get Michael Blown to write a letter dissing my work, that, that would be good. And then you could present this to the British government, Godfrey, Michael Blown. These are all well-known people. 
I'll find a few others and present this as proof the pager hurts. We don't want to see any British dogs do anything like this because jumping is illegal. We have the jails full of British citizens. What we want is dogs like Adam Spivey's, confused, looking around. Yeah, how can I get away from this guy in his sweatpants? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. If you want to go online with a dual broadcast, Jamie, no problem doing that. And you explain to me and point out what I'm doing and how it isn't working and how it's not producing the level of engagement that you people are getting. And how training and drive is wrong and how you have now got proof positive. Well, you showed it to Michael already. Godfrey's already familiar with my work. So is Michael Ballone. We'll find somebody, f I'll find other people from other countries. I'm sure Remco will give me, he's from the Netherlands. They know a lot about training dogs there. And Remco's like, oh my God, no. Uh, and have these people state, listen Kelly, as Danny Wells has said, you're delusional. Proof positive, these people have all stated this work is the biggest bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Anybody. And then they're gonna look back at this work in 30 years and say, oh my God, these dogs are snails. Snails, lady. Come on. I'm an oxymoron because... Oh, calm, yes, Jenny, calm, lifeless, lifeless. One step up from a stuffed animal. Doesn't move. That way you can jabber walkie on with your loosey-goosey sweatpants. Pretending to be an expert. And pretending that what you're doing... Here's an idea. Here's an idea. And this is what I don't understand, Jamie. I don't understand how all of you people don't have lawyer clients helping you. Because I asked Grant Downing that day if he said, oh, this guy's straight out of a John Grisham novel. <laughs> straight out of a John Grisham novel. Grant Downing, he said, that he sounds like an attorney. He looks like one too. Uh, said, what they need is an Esquire and a lobbyist that will. Yeah. If you said that was his free legal advice. Yeah, it was. So if you said, if that happened here, you'd be calling every lawyer you know. Oh yeah. Saying, what do I do? Where do I go? Who do you know? I don't understand why you people aren't doing that. Because as far as I know, there's no such thing as serious pro trainers that don't have lawyers for clients. If you said, who can validate this? Mike Lardy. If you said, that's all he had? That isn't the only kind of clients he had. The other ones were doctors. And self-made millionaires. Come on. Anyway, I've got to go. That's my lawn guy calling. Oh, God, there are some more training done. No hurries, no worries. I've developed a very, very specific technique to get a very specific result. Dog after dog after dog after dog. At the very least, Jamie, I mean, please, you've got to say to these people, there may be a little seed of validity. And, oh, I know, you can also get a letter from Jim and Phyllis Dobbs. The best way to diss me would say... These people are familiar with this woman. And they're saying, this is the biggest bunch of bullshit we've ever seen. He said, that's the only thing that's going to convince me. Mm -hmm. If he said, you're not going to do that with our work, you're not going to show my work to Godfrey, and you're not going to show it to any of these other people, and he's going to say, you're right, Kelly, those dogs make yours look downright sad. Godfrey even like my bulldog. I've got a message I'm right now. I will be back outside right now with my goddamn phone pager. Be careful, Andy. There are some risks. They will jump high and fly fast. <laughs> If what you're saying is there no possible way that a dog can be taught to respond to that, that it's so de-intellectualized it can only respond to a tingly, 
a sudden unknown tingle. I'll tell you, if I get a sudden unknown tingle, I start Googling online, what the hell's wrong with me? I start going to WebMD. The hell's this damn tingly feeling? I start scratching my neck like Larry Crone's dog. Please go look at Larry Crone's work. I'm gonna send that to Godfrey. Do you think that he's gonna say, that little itchy, scratchy little puppy? Come on, I'm begging you, Janie. Lead these people in a different direction. At least explore the option. You know, if you said, that is the biggest, there isn't a human being on the planet that can get a dog to respond to this. They need to have this. He said, I don't even hear anything. Yeah. If you said, that's gonna scare one. Yeah, scare me. He said, it's not gonna hurt. Oh yeah, tight. your muscles suddenly going tight as a mofo hurts like a mofo. He said, how can I get a Charlie horse in your head? That's what it is. So if you said the dog, I can't really understand. I mean, no, I can't. If you said the why can't understand a page, they're vibration sensitive pet predators. If you said who can I ask? Here's a better idea, Jamie. Put together a little montage of your work. Send it to that Peggy Hill at Harvard. It's like, oh my God, please, lady, write me a letter stating use of vibrational communication in dogs based on this fucking work that this woman is presenting is the biggest bunch of bullshit and should be abandoned immediately. Then I'll believe you, Jamie. But this woman from Harvard says, so what you're saying is she's using this to get these behaviors and do all these things. Oh my God, stop her. And where's your work? Oh my God. Look at this guy's sweatpants. Oh, he's handsome. Oh, she's probably in love with them. Oh, for sure. But this guy even comes up with that. Uh, if you said, what did I say? I said, seriously. Has that ever even happened to you? Some woman fell in love with you? Jesus. Mm -hmm.